finally, it's that time of the year. It's Christmas, and this time I'm actually on time with my themed episode. So, welcome back to Doomsday SMP, episode 11, and it's finally time for the Christmas episode. So yeah, maybe my Halloween episode was a bit late, but I promise this one definitely won't be. Unless I spend a really long time editing, which we, we, is definitely possible. So we are starting over here in our industrial village, where in the last episode I got another beacon and got strength and regeneration on top of my haste too. That was really, really exciting, but today I'm not going to be doing anything like this. I'm not going to be doing any base building over here or at my actual base. Instead, we're going to be doing quite a lot of different things today, and they're going to mostly be Christmas themed if I'm honest. I want to make the most of this special episode. So to start with, let's go and make a Christmas tree. So you see, spawn is it's not in a good state at all. I mean, it's been blown up again and there's a load of random stuff about and this bedrock is here because there's command blocks inside of it and the reason they're there is because they used to be under the ground because the ground level used to be up here but since then people have blown up even more so the ground level's kind of just moved. So what I'd like to do is basically build another tree. So we kind of have a thing for trees at spawn. I'm kind of getting known for building trees at spawn now. So what I'd like to do is clear up spawn a little bit but this time I'd like to plant a tree that should stay there and Corin has been the one that's mostly been the one that's got rid of all these trees and he said he's happy to keep this one at least for the festive season so to start with i actually need a place to build this and this definitely isn't gonna work so i went and mined up a load of grass and dirt and stuff and i've also grabbed myself some bone meal to grow the tree in just a second so i'm gonna start kind of making a bit of a hill i mean i don't want to cover this entire thing in grass that's been done before and it just got removed pretty quick and plus it might look quite cool to have the tree on a hill so yeah i think i'm just gonna get rid of some of this cobblestone stuff and build a little bit of a hill hill here in the center. Whoa, I, I think the tree's grown. Oh wait, this is perfect. Oh, this is so good. So there's a chance, right, that the tree might grow something like this, but it's got a really long bit here and then a cool bit at the top. But like, this is perfect. This almost already looks exactly like a Christmas tree. Now, the one issue I've had is I've been spending ages sort of making this grass thing and it's, it's not grass anymore. But to be honest, I that that's kind of okay. Like, that that's okay. I think I'll just carry on with grass, though, and just see how it looks with pods all at the top. Maybe mixing in some pods all on the layers downwards as well, just to make the transition a bit smoother. Yeah, I think that should look okay. Okay, so here's my little hill. It's a bit rough in places, but I'm no terraformer, and I think it looks okay. I mean, I just needed somewhere to build the tree, right? And it's got a bit of variety. It's a bit steeper at the back here, and a bit smoother on some other edges like that. Yeah, it, it, it looks pretty good. I just need a pla- ow. I just need a place to build my tree. And we have now got that tree. However, oh yeah, by the way, uh, I completely forgot to mention that J Fireplace has has built a skyscraper. It's it's a little bit better than our skyscraper over here, I'm gonna be honest. Yeah, ours is looking a little bit stubby now. Although I should actually check up. Have we made any profits, I wonder? I did actually make some sales a while ago, but forgot to record it. I made like 17 diamonds or something. No, I, I don't think I've made any sales here. Oh, no, I had an ender chest, by the way. Anyway, I'm getting really distracted. We need to go back to this tree. So next up, what I'd like to do is kind of like perfect the shape a little bit, I guess. I mean, I want it to be maybe a little bit less at the bottom, but a little bit more at the top. So I'm just going to get these shears and kind of break some of the leaves and see what looks quite good. Oh, look at that. Instantly, that is so, so much better. Now, I think what I might do now is just take the height down a little bit. I think maybe ending it off about there, just a couple of blocks lower might look a bit more natural. Oh, hello, Joe Fireplace. But yeah, I think that might look a bit more natural and maybe curve it inwards a little bit more around there. But yeah, I'm really, really happy with this shape. And now we need to get on to a slightly more difficult part, which is decorating this thing. Okay, so uh, it turns out I lied. This bit isn't going to be difficult at all. The decorating bit is actually going to be pretty easy because Cora, so we've now got a thing on the server, right? where we're allowing people to have custom heads. We haven't got a proper plugin or anything. I'm just giving them via command blocks and stuff and commands. But yeah, we're allowing custom heads on the server now, which means I've got loads of glazed terracotta custom heads and presents and baubles and stuff from Corin, who wanted some of his own. So I just grabbed some of his as well. And we've got this. Now, the scale might be a little bit off, but I honestly don't think it matters. Oh yeah, and I've shaped this tree a little bit more. It, I think it's just so much of a better shape now. It slowly, gradually goes thinner and thinner. And yeah, it looks really, really cool. I'm really, really happy with this. But the start, 
star on top is going to be quite difficult because I don't think I'm going to be able to do a proper star because for the pure reason that it's like a two block center, it's an even center and obviously building a star or anything with a two block center is really really difficult and this is only a two block center because I grew it naturally and that's how it they all grow so yeah I'm going to have to work my way around that but for starters let's just spam some of these ball balls and presents and stuff. Right so that took quite a while but what I've done is put a load of presents which look really really oh ha hello phantom I put a load of presents under here which I think look really really cool actually it's a little bit mid scale but you know they're just really small presents and then I've also started around some soul lanterns and some lanterns and then spent quite a long time gathering a load of resources particularly ones in the nether like this and the soul lanterns and stuff that I can use to decorate this tree so you may notice 10 blocks of diamonds in here well I'm not kind enough to spend 10 of my diamonds on this tree that's just going to be seen for like a couple of weeks and then taken down no 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 instead I stole them from Corrin I mean I checked with him he's okay with them I'm gonna give him back like 50 of these and then just use some of these for the tree but yeah I think it'll look really really nice we've got these the four things which can be used as like ball balls then we've got the rest of these as smaller ones these two particular things can be used to make quite a cool star I think these can hang off the tree and yeah I'm just gonna try and decorate this as best I can so let's do a little bit of a quick decorating time lapse Got to be kidding me. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. The water's just washed away every single one of the hell. Oh, that's really annoying. Well, I guess we'll finish the time lapse there. On the bright side, absolutely no pun intended, we've got a decent start. I mean, it's not great, but obviously I couldn't really do much what with it being a two block center. And it does look cool when it gets dark, which it is actually now. But yeah, you saw what just happened. The water fell down while I was trying to just get up to the top of the start. I could have used a firework rocket. I wanted to conserve them, which is why I've been using the trident and stuff. And it went horribly wrong. And and the water has washed away a lot of my custom heads on this side not gonna lie I think there's quite a lot I mean there's enough that I can't even pick them up in my inventory so I'm just gonna just sort of try my best to think how where they might go I mean I'm not gonna put in any particular effort to remember exactly where they were and stuff I just don't think that's gonna happen but yeah just just fiddle with them until they look good basically so I've patched up that side now now next up I'd actually like to add some shroom lights to this star at the top here just to make it look a little bit less old-school Minecraft and a little bit less just like it's one massive thing of glowstone which kind of does look like right now because it doesn't really look like a star if we're honest yeah I mean, to be honest, I'm not sure if that looks better or worse. It kind of looks worse. But you know what? I'm just going to completely stop touching this tree now. Maybe I'll come back and do something better with the stream lights at a later date. But I'm really happy with this. Right, now next up, I'd like to take a break from the Christmassy stuff. And don't worry, later in the episode, we will be doing more stuff like that. And having and actually having a Christmas party. But first of all, I'd like to think a little bit less Christmassy. Which is head back over to the Alliance base. So if it wasn't already obvious, the reason I've come over here is to build my tower. The one going right here. Now, initially. I planned this kind of ugly circular cylinder thing, but then Piplup decided to make a really, really nice tower. And if I built what I was originally planning, this would just look way, way better. I can't be outdone by Piplup. No, no offense, Piplup. But I don't really want to plan it, and I still want it to be in a similar style to Piplup, but obviously it has to be themed around my base. That's the thing we're doing with each of these towers. So to be honest, I'm just going to wing it. I've got this shulker box, which is full of base building resources. I've actually had this for quite a while. I mean, we've got so much jungle wood. We've got leaves, lanterns, everything. Yeah, I'm just going to see what I can do. And so with that, let's do a little bit of a tower building time lapse. And then we'll get to a Christmas party.
Okay, so this is my tower, and I'm super, super happy with it. I really, really like how it turned out. So obviously this is themed around my jungle base and everything, and it's very, very similar to Piplup's. However, there's one key difference, other than the complete different choice of blocks, of course. And that's that Piplup's, well, it sits at a very comfy, a very nice height of 96.5 blocks tall, as you can see here. However, mine, well, you see, mine is slightly different. Mine sits at a very comfy height of 97.5 blocks. Yep, as you can see here, I'm sat on top of my fence post, and it's just one, one little block taller. And we can almost guarantee that when Corin built his tower over there, it will be 98.5 blocks tall. Just one block taller than mine. And to be honest, this is probably something that's going to keep on, keep on going. But I don't really mind. This could get quite funny. Now I'm completely just picturing the Hermitcraft Season 6 thing, where they did the whole village 1.14 village thing. Anyway, we need to move on from this area, so I should probably talk a bit more about the build first, though. Oh, have I just got rid of all my buttons? Oh, no, I, I think they're fine. Anyway, so what I've done is added some leaves at the bottom, added some buttons and some nice little details and stuff, like the fences and the lanterns, and I've kept in a very similar style to pit pubs over there, just using different blocks that fit my build a little bit better. And I'm really, really happy with the results. So obviously at the moment, there's no way to get in. I'm probably going to put a door or something in the back, maybe, just to make it a bit more functional. And then eventually, we're going to put a beacon in here as well. Oh, it, it turns out I did lose a few buttons. I have no idea where these went, so I'm just going to put them there. But yeah, I mainly just use spruce and jungle, because that's what I built my entire base out of. I didn't actually use many spruce trapdoors, and a lot of my base was built on spruce trapdoors, but I wanted to be a bit cleaner, and I wanted it to look a bit more sort of like magic or mystical than my other thing. And as I said, I completely just winged this, and I'm really happy with how it turned out, considering I didn't plan this at all beforehand. But yeah, I think it looks pretty cool. But I'm completely done with this place. It's, it's just not festive enough for me. So instead, we're going to go and have a bit of a Christmas party with Corin and hopefully some other people. Although we did say no one returned his invite other than me. So this might be a bit of a lonely Christmas party. You know what? We'll just see how it goes. Ooh, we got some nice cake over here. You want to you come eat? No, I no, love no, to no, eat yeah, some cake. We, not we yet. eat cake. We eat cake when it's oh. dinner time. Okay. Is it not dinner time? It's always dinner time. I'm not even right. gonna lie, I had dinner at 4.30 today. What? Half an hour ago, and breakfast <laughs> at 3 o'clock. Uh, well, uh, I, I, this has been a fantastic party, guys. I've no. really enjoyed this party. Wait, why? Thank you what? so much for the three totems, Corin. I really appreciate it. What? I'll be going now. No. Um, thank you so back, much for hosting. Oh, there's you holes know? in the yeah. No, there are holes in the floor. Can everyone stop flicking some? Oh no, I fell through a trapdoor. Corin, <laughs> uh, you, you, your base is just so flickable. Can everyone just stop flicking things? <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm about to end this party. <laughs> no. No. Okay, everyone, line up on the red carpet. Um, I am about to hand to you all of your jokes that we shall read at dinner time later. So who wants to walk up first? Oh, uh, me, 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 me! I'm, I'm here! here. Do not to tell anyone the joke yet, as it is safe for dinner. Oh, DT, you want to go Hi. first? Samira, yes. Where... DT, Definitely. this is especially for you. Oh, Don't lovely. Don't tell anyone your joke. <laughs> now go in the house, What's DT. the joke? <laughs> go, no, we'll, we'll read it. Pip Corin, that is a very unfunny joke. Right, okay, go Samira, back to the line. Back back the line. It's my turn. Samira. Hey, it's my turn. Right, okay, I, I, I'm going to ask you not to say the joke yet, as we are going to say Oh, thank goodness for that. Thank goodness right. for that, Corin. DT, get in the house. All right, what's right. this joke? Right, so say it now. The say joke it is DT's now. YouTube channel. Right. <laughs> wow. The sad thing uh, is, okay, yes. uh, before he redid it, Corin was going to put DT's YouTube channel in every single joke. There's your joke card. Your joke card. Don't say it now. Okay. Uh, so, nothing happened. Can everyone That's just a come... good joke. That's a great joke. I right, everyone, know. let's go to the living room. Where's the, uh, yes. uh, the living room? Right, so right now, oh my god, yeah. you will just stop. Yeah! Oh, I like this one. Oh, no, I love that. that one. Oh, 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 I love that one. Oh, 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 come on. Yeah. It's not the news at six. Oh, I'm picking the channel. I want to watch Oh, that yes, one. I like, I like this is good, this is good. Oh, Corin, there was, there was there was some stairs on your sofa, so I fixed it. Okay. You're welcome. I want to watch Tunnel Tubbies. Right, okay, so, no. anyone, who's who's hungry? All right, so you've reminded me that I'm never doing an event like this ever again on the entire <laughs> server. <laughs> hey, hey, hey Corin, imagine everyone. this, but with Why Dalek Moth Survival there? and uh, about yeah, seven yeah. people. Right, everyone. That's pain. Now, <laughs> No one's playing right. with the turkey. Right, let's dig in, guys. 
Ah, uh, I'm not hungry actually. I'm gonna go for a sprint. For your I bag. literally can someone punch me, please. I'm not hungry enough. No, Bro. no, the cake. Right, it's fine. It's fine. Right. It's fine. No, Guys, no, we've got, got back up. We've got back up, cake. I ate the bark. I'm sorry. Oh, Corin. Really Look, guys, guys, oh. guys, it's fine. I've got some real food. We got oh, some pumpkins. Lovely. Don't lovely. we all love some lovely, pumpkins? Lovely. Delicious, absolutely delicious. All right, okay, everyone, can I please ask? Hey, it looks like a TARDIS now. Shows. No, it looks like a TARDIS everyone. console now. <laughs> everyone, it brought, it's DT Channel. Yeah. yeah. Play my love track. Look, it's <laughs> uh, I got the same joke. It also says DT Channel. Joke two. Oh my I god, have a joke. It's a joke. It's a channel. Oh my god. Wow. Guys, you should all kill DT. Guys, I also had a joke, but I burnt it. Now I thought what we could do, we could play some charades. Do you, charades. Guys, guys, yeah, go guys, go first, go first, guys go first. do you know what do you know what Corin's joke said before I burnt it? No. What? Corin can tell you. Right, Corin? Well, no, no, you, we want you to tell us. We, we want you to tell us. It was your yeah, joke. Yeah. Forgot. No, stop. Oh, my like, days. No. You you've, you've broken no, the tree. GT. You've you broken the tree. I literally don't. Heck? Look, you can DT, see my can point of view. I did not you place water. Oh, you. Oh, you freaking not. Pip Luck, you were the. You were, you were literally the one that placed the water. I can't it, it. it was a misclick, okay? Bruh, everything's broken. Pip Luck. Alright, no! no. We're skipping the games, everyone. We're skipping the games. So it's fine, my joke was trash. All anyway. of you, all of oh, you goodbye. That's content, that's happened right? way too many times. Yeah. Yes, I need yes, uh, content. Yes, content. Wait, everyone. Oh, oh, oh. Pip Luck. That is against the rules. That is against the rules, Pip Luck. That is against the rules. Oh gosh, I've got an elytra on. I've got strength. You want to fight me, bro? Why have you got strength? Not gonna lie, this okay. is the best Christmas party I've ever Everyone, seen. Everyone, please, guys, shut up! I have, a, I, I have a toast to, to say. So, guys, to the love toast. Is I love toast. Only one of you will be leaving. Okay, bye. bye. <laughs> no, 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 You're breaking my heart, bruh. Okay, never mind, I give up. Wait, I tried why to is, why, is, why is only one of us leaving here tonight? I Wait, explain. Right. Explain. I'm explain. I'm literally just no. left, so like... Right. I'd like to know. You left, bruh, I give up now. <laughs>I expected to happen so just to say none of that was Corin's fault like by a mile absolutely none of that was his fault it was mostly my fault but yeah christmas party that failed which was mostly my fault turned into end busting this is a perfectly normal end to an episode but i do need to find the lighter fast because we are running out of time here's a ship and i'm pretty sure because of how t long it's taken to load and everything i'm pretty sure this is unloaded chunks so Yes, it has an elytra. Absolutely perfect. Okay, we can take out this guy. And wow, we actually got quite a lot of shockers from that. But the main event here is the elytra. So we'll grab that. And I don't I don't think I really need anything. Yeah, I don't I don't need Oh, I'll take the shovel. Only because I am actually is this got anything that I need? Uh, no, I don't think so. So basically, the only reason I've taken that shovel is because apparently having a non-silk touch shovel is quite helpful. And this one's got silk touch, so I'm just going to grab that in case we can get another shovel. Anyway, while I'm here, I may as well start grinding a couple more of these shulker shells. And by the way, earlier I said to Nad that maybe the longer it takes for me to find this, the more we up the price from 15 and then every five minutes or so it goes up. So maybe we haven't found this elytra yet. Oh, welcome back. Have you got the elytra on? Not yet. 2,000 years later. I'm out of food, but I think I, yeah, I see an end city. So I might be able to, there might be a ship. There's a ship. Okay, there's a ship. And because oh, yeah, these, well, because these are unloaded chunks, I don't think it should be lo looted. Yeah, okay, there's an elytra. I've got the elytra. Well, I mean, it is, it is, by my calculations, 
48 minutes past. So, I think that's 16. Oh, wow. Alright, well, good doing business with you. That, I'd, I'd like to say that was a fun Christmas party. I mean... <laughs> I mean, yeah. it was half a Christmas party. Yeah. That it was a quarter. Yeah. That I accidentally mostly ruined. Well, this episode has been absolute chaos. So it's raining now, which is kind of sad. I kind of want it to be snowing, but that's not possible because of the biome we're in. But this has been our festive episode. So I want to say a really, really happy Christmas to everyone that celebrates it. And if you don't, just have a really nice 25th of December. So obviously when this video goes out, it'll be relatively close to Christmas. At the moment, it's like the 19th for me. But obviously this will be quite close to Christmas. And my next video will be probably 2022 or just before. And it'll be a good one. So look out for that. Some of you might recognise it, but it will actually be the Raft video that me and Piplop did on the stream a while back. So yeah, look out for that, and I really hope you enjoy it. And I really, really hope you enjoyed this festive episode. So we built this entire Christmas tree at spawn. We put loads of snow around it, which I didn't actually show you. I've kind of just done this off camera. But yeah, I've covered the entire area in snow, and I'm hopefully going to do all of spawn by the time it's Christmas Day. And then we also built our tower over at the Alliance base. And then we went to Corin's Christmas party, kind of. And then it kind of went wrong, and it was kind of all my fault. But, you know what, it was still really fun, and I think Corin still kind of had fun, ultimately. So, that's what matters. So, I really hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, please leave a like or comment, and if you'd like to see more content like this, then please subscribe. But I've been DT10, and I will see you in the next video.